Meanwhile, a day later. <laughs> I'm sorry, but just let me know if you want me to react to these maps a bit more in the future. I'm just trying something new, okay? But either way, let's just look at the damage, because of course I made the mistake of doing this overnight. First of all, let's get the obvious out of the way. Yeah, apparently somehow Italy became a German puppet. Yeah. I guess, just like real life, Rome's fate was the Germans. My best guess is the Allies tried to invade Rome, but then failed to take Rome from the fascists and Benito. So Benito was allowed to continue to rule, but because of the Civil War, they became a German puppet. Also, I guess they have uh, Greater Albania. I guess that means Greater Albania just gets to go free, kind of. They're no longer an Italian puppet, they're just kind of under the axis. But, uh, yeah, the axis is a war with the East, a Republic of China, which united and is now democratic, Free India, which I'm honestly surprised are at war with the axis when they're fascists themselves. No idea who this is. I've never seen this portrait before. And then the Communist States of America, which control Japan and a lot of Siberia, uh, with Earl Browder. I don't know why the U.S. went communist, but I guess that's just what happens when you go to 1981. Yeah, a lot of the ideologies just go all over the place. You have Finland. I, I don't know why they're a part of the East Asian co-prosperity sphere. I guess they're... Where the fuck does that even still exist? Are they the... Yeah, they're the leader of the co-prosperity sphere. I guess they just assume leadership at some point. Also, where the fuck does Japan still exist? I, I don't even know. <laughs> but, uh... Oh! There they are, they're on Sulawesi, out of all places. Uh, Senko-san, what are you doing here? 